Let's start putting things together with rigid and flexible couplings. Hi, I'm Mike. Sometimes parts and components are very similar to each other, but there are key differences between them that result in different applications for each. In each episode of this video series from Radwell TV, we compare parts that are similar to each other, but also have their differences. Today I'll be comparing a rigid coupling and a flexible coupling. The biggest similarity between the two couplings is that they're both used to connect two shafts together for the purpose of transmitting power. A rigid coupling is the most basic coupling option and allows for timing, joining, and aligning of shafts. The rigid coupling is clamped onto and joins two shafts and in turn makes them operate as one. There are three different kinds of rigid couplings, flange couplings, sleeve couplings, or ribbed couplings. A flexible coupling is used to connect two shafts end-to-end -end in the same line. Flexible couplings can be used to transmit power from one shaft to another and to compensate for small amounts of misalignment. In certain cases, they can provide a protective function as well. The most common types of flexible couplings are jaw coupling, gear coupling, and tire coupling. The biggest difference between the two types of coupling is that flexible couplings allow for a slight misalignment, while rigid couplings cannot tolerate shaft misalignment. Flexible couplings have the ability to absorb shocks and vibrations, while rigid couplings do not. Generally, rigid couplings are capable of transmitting more power than flexible couplings. Though both forms of couplings essentially do the same thing, flexible couplings are often preferred because of the ability to handle misalignments. Before deciding which one is best, research should be done to see which one best fits the need. Thanks for watching this Compare the Parts episode. For more information about Radwell, visit radwell.com or connect with us on social media.